Welcome back to another episode of the HC2 Resilience Challenge. This is your host, Coach Danny, and today we're talking about day 40, Friday, May 1st. For our warm up, we'll be starting with a 400 meter run with a medicine ball or some sort of odd object from your home, or you can do two minutes of jump rope. Then we'll do three sets of five towel or ring rows, 10 push ups with shoulder taps, and 15 air squats. And we'll finish up with two sets of four Spider Man lunges per side and four dead bug extensions per side. From there, we're going to go into some, um, some strength skill work for today. So if you have a full gym or you're going to HC2, you'll be doing an EMOM of eight minutes. That means every minute on the minute for eight minutes, you will perform two reps of one pause power snatch plus one overhead squat at about 50 to 60% of your max snatch. Now, our pause power snatch, you'll be pausing right below the knee for one, two, three seconds, then you'll go into your snatch, right? But catch it high, anywhere above parallel is good, and then you'll stand, reset, and go into your overhead squat. If you have a sum equipment variation, you'll be doing two reps per side with one dumbbell. So you'll do a hang power snatch plus an overhead squat with your dumbbell, hang power snatch, overhead squat, then switch sides and repeat on the other side every minute on the minute for eight minutes. If you're using the no equipment variation, you'll be doing four to six strict pike push-ups or handstand push-ups and four to six super slow air squats each minute on the minute for eight minutes. So what that means is say round one or minute one, I do six strict pike push-ups. I will repeat with six super slow air squats. Think like five seconds down, five seconds up, something like that. But you wanna kind of mimic the amount of reps that you were able to complete for your strict pike push-ups or your handstand push-ups. All right. From there, we shall move on to our Metcon, Peacemaker. So we have a six round for time Metcon today. Basically, everybody's going to be starting with either six pistols per leg, or you can sit to a box or a chair and stand with one leg to kind of mimic that pistol movement and do that single leg movement. After that, we have either six power snatches, six per arm single dumbbell power snatches or 12 odd object ground to shoulder. So think about something you might have at home. Um, I picture like a sandbag or a bag of dog food or um, a, a jug of water or really anything that you can find. I saw somebody in, a, in one of the groups that I'm in using a rice maker for um, weighted lunches and <laughs> kettlebell swings. So get creative with what you have. Um, after that, we'll be doing a push-up variation. So either 12 ring push-ups or regular push-ups, elevated push-ups, etc. if you need to modify. If you're, you don't have equipment, I'm gonna ask that you do 12 push-ups with a toe tap. So you're gonna do your push-up, then when you're in your plank, you're gonna touch your right hand to your left foot, and then you'll do your push-up, do the other side, right? Every push-up is one rep. After that, we have either 24 jumping jacks, 24 double unders, or 48 single unders. And everyone will finish up the round with 40 mountain climbers. So you're in a plank and you're almost running, right? Trying to get your knees up nice and high towards your chest, um, one at a time. Now, right and left would be one rep, so it's double. For our coaching notes, I want everybody to select a pistol option that is challenging for you because it is a small number of reps. Make sure each rep that you do is legit. Work hard on them. Try to do your odd object ground to shoulder um, those or your power snatches unbroken for as many sets as possible. If you're doing odd objects, think backpack, luggage full of books, a bag full of dog food, sand, etc. Um, for your push-ups, make sure you break them up early because they're going to get hard fast. Then when you get into your jumping jacks or double unders, um, go hard on them, but take your time on the mountain climbers and focus on your breathing so you can go right into the next round with minimal rest. The goal for today is 14 to 21 minutes, about three minutes per round. Enjoy and we'll see you tomorrow.